Dark Matter. Dingo. On Nuketown? Oh, this is gonna be destruction. I'm talking about mass destruction. Cause I'm gonna destroy my enemies. <laughs> and how I'm gonna do it? You know. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jimmy Dean again. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to the Dean Zone. But if you're one of my subscribers, or you've been here before, welcome back! <laughs> this is my class setup right here. This right here is the Dingo, aka the best LMG in the game. If you want to be out here and be a camper, like a real camper player, you know you gotta love that LMG. And this dingo is the best one for camping, flat out. I know a lot of people like that Gorgon, the Dredge, it is what it is. But this thing right here, it's got great hip fire, shoots fast, lays down your enemies. Oh, <laughs> speaking of getting laid down. And it's the most mobility. So when you're out here head glitching, moving side to side, or the enemy team is coming at you from the left to right, behind you, in front of you, it is what it is. It makes you more mobile. Get laid down, player. It's just all around the best. LMG, look at that. You see me sidestep to the right? Hold on. Somebody else is coming. Jump on top of the bunk bed. Get laid down, player. Come on. This dingo, by hands down, is the best LMG. Ain't nothing else messing with it. If you think it is, let me know in the comments. If you don't, tell me which one is better and tell me why. Because I just gave you all the reason why this dingo goes in. It ain't just a dingo. You got to check this gameplay out because your boy is about to go ham. I think I'm going to die like one more time in here in a minute. But after that, I go on like a 62 kill streak. 62 on Nuketown? But it is what it is. These are the keys to camping. I'm going to give it to you right now, point blank and simple. That's it right there. Now I'm about to turn up. I'm about to go ham. If you are a camper, you have two jobs. One, you have to be the defensive MVP. Two, you have to be the slayer. And how do you do this? Nine times out of ten, you're going to do it with your score streaks. So in order to get your score streaks, to be that slayer and that defensive MVP, you must understand what it is to be a camper. You have to survive. You play the game to stay alive. Flat out, you're not playing for kills. Well, I know what you're thinking, like, what, Jimmy just told me I had to get my score streaks and be the slayer. True, but look at that. You see how I got up out of there? I was taking fire. I backed off. I'm not playing for kills right now. I'm playing to stay alive. Look, once again, I'm taking fire. I get up out of there. I'm playing it safe, cautious, because once I get my score streaks, no matter how slow the first half goes or the beginning of the game goes, I'm going to get my streaks, and when I do that, player, you know what happens. Your boy drops that beat, and I drop my enemy just like that, run up and get done up. Now look, just that quick, I'm on the bloodthirsty, and how did I get here, you know, quietly. But like I was saying, so you have to get your score streaks to be a score streak assassin. You do not play the game to get kills. You play strictly to stay alive. And by staying alive, I'm guaranteeing you will get more kills every game. Second, you see your boy getting them killer bees? Come on now. If you're a true camper, you know the best specialist for camping is that nomad. Use him. Spread your bees out in high traffic zones. And nine times out of ten, if you can, get away from your bees. Just so your enemies can run in there continuously getting laid down. And then when you get them streaks, go get in your honeycomb hideout and drop the beat on them. Oh, 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 this beat goes ham too. It's about to turn up. All right, another tip. Very important, often underrated, never used as much as it should be. And a lot of you don't even understand the concept, and I'm explaining to you now. The mini map. Now, you hardcore players, it's not going to apply to you. I'm sorry, but this is a core world. It is what it is. The mini map is probably the most important thing in the game. It's more important than your perks, more important than your gun. The mini map is vital. When I'm playing the game, my eyes go from the screen to the mini map. Screen to mini map, back and forth simultaneously all the time, over and over and over. The mini map is important. Why? You have a constant UAV at all times. And what do I mean by this? Your teammates. The little blue triangles or the green triangles on the map, they will tell you where the enemy is at. You can see where your teammates disappear from the map. That means they just got killed. Is somebody coming from that direction? You can see if your whole team is flooded to the right, prepared to get flanked to the left, and you can see it coming. 
When the enemy shoots somebody across the map, their red dot is popping up on the mini map. You can see exactly where they are. Player, you gotta play the game smart. The mini map is vital. You will never be caught off guard or caught by surprise. Once you're in the zone, I'm telling you, eyes go back and forth, back and forth. Now you see I jumped out of my truck when it was over with, and I laid back, and I waited patiently, because there was not enough time to put my big streaks up in the air, so I'm just going to play the game safe, enter this second round just like this, come back on them, drop my score streaks, and you know once I drop them streaks, what do I got to do? I got to drop that beat again. <laughs> Let's go. But real talk, the minimap is vital. Even when I'm in my score streaks, I use the mini map. Like right now, I know the whole team, the enemy team was coming from the left. So I was going over there because I got my team coming to the right. Now I got my Wraith. I can play this any kind of way I want to, especially on Nuketown. Once my Wraith is in the air, the enemy teams are either going to be running inside or funneling away. Look at it. Look at the kill feed. Ooh, you know I love when my name is in the kill feed. But like I'm saying, I use the Talon and the Wraith as a great combination because it helps you from getting your race shot down so quickly or your talent you know is a hit marker machine so you got to get out there and get as many kills as possible so they can't focus on both score streaks at the same time but it is what it is man that's just another another tip and trick that your boy gave you right there for the free 99 like i said all right let's go over what we learned so far play to live do not play for kills your job is to be a defensive mvp and the team slayer Second off, you get your score streaks, which I didn't tell you, and your score streaks are to be used to help your team gain an advantage. You see I'm not taking my score streaks into the enemy spawn? No, we got the two flags. We just tied the game up. Now we're coming back. Why are we making this why are we making this comeback? It's because of my score streaks. Me being a score streak assassin, that slayer, and a defensive MVP, my team has got the lead. And I cause chaos and confusion while I'm in my score streak so the other enemy team doesn't have a chance to get the flags. They're so occupied by me killing them and trying to stay alive themselves, they can't win the game. I'm just saying, but it is what it is. All right, what else have we learned? Mini map, vital, important. Like I told you, constant UAV by using your teammates as UAVs. You don't always need the red triangles to let you know where your enemies is at. The blue and the green ones will tell you just the same. Flat out, especially if your teammates are terrible and you see where they're always dying, you can avoid the best player on the other team by not going over there picking a different position, killing his teammates, and once you get your score streaks, then you go over there and you lay that dude down. You cause hectic chaos and confusion. I'm talking about mass destruction. You seen it? Real talk, look at your boy, I'm out here, I'm going ham. And I love when that beat mixes up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. speak another beat mixing up. Your boy was just going in. We got a nice lead. I'm out here being a defensive MVP. I just went ham. I just turned up on these dudes. It's like the beat barely ever stopped. But it is what it is, man. I did what I did. Now it's my job to help us maintain this lead. So I switched my focus off as I picked up the Merciless because of the killer B. Look at your boy being that defensive MVP. Oh, he laid me down. I was on a 62 kill streak. Come on, man. Smash that like button for your boy. This is, I'm out here dropping knowledge. This is it right here. This is how you do it. And like I said, everybody knows everyone dies on Nuketown. If you take these same tips and techniques to a regular map, Player, you're going to go ham. But it is what it is. Like I'm saying. Take it from your boy. Let me know. Do you use these tips and tricks in your normal camping? Is there something else that you didn't know that you learned today? Let me know. Leave it in the comments. I'm out here for y'all, man. Listen, I try to evolve your game. Whether you're a camper or a rusher, it helps to know both sides of the playing field. And if you know it's your boy's gameplay, I evolve as the game goes on. I camp, I rush, I do both. And, but the main core to anything I do comes from my camping and the way I play the game. How, how I camp defines the rest of my playing style. So if I'm moving, if I'm rushing, if I'm camp rushing, crushing, doing it all, it all evolves from one thing. And I still use these tips and tricks at all points in time. Whether it looks like I'm rushing or not, trust me, your boy is always camping in the back of his mind. Keep my senses on fleek. But that's it for today, man. I hope you all enjoyed this gameplay and commentary. And like I said, make sure you smash that like button for your boy. Because I just went ham out here with the Dark Matter Dingo. <laughs> Let's go, man. I had these boys out here confused. Look at them. I was out here like this. Oh, which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? <laughs> Let's go, man. Bring the beat back for these dudes. <laughs> Peace, love, and hair grease, y'all. One.
I, I was like Pac-Man out here eating, munching on them power pellets and destroying my enemies. <laughs> You know it. Your boy is